If you were trapped inside a vending machine, unable to move or talk, what would you do? In this video, you'll find out what to do if you're in the body of Boxo. The main character of Reborn is a vending machine I now want to the dungeon, and how you'll turn a terrifying situation into a lucrative venture using the power of capital. Here comes the money! Here we go! And if you're new to Anime Survivor, the stories are told a little different. There is just three ground rules. Rule number one, you're in the shoes of the main character, and that means you only know what they know. No peeking into scenes where the MC ain't present, got it? It's all about seeing the world through their eyes. No spoilers allowed. Rule number two, you can change the story of this video by giving a comment. If you use a good logical argument, I can make another video using it, or even using it in another anime. This is a place for anime lovers who wonder what have gone different if you're the MC. This is the place for you. Rule number three, folks, and it's a biggie. Having fun is non-negotiable. We're all about bringing the joy, the laughter, and the sheer excitement of anime to the max. We're on a mission to create an electrifying atmosphere where you can immerse yourself in the fantastical worlds of anime. Let your imagination run wild, and just enjoy the heck out of the ride. Whether you're speculating on alternative storylines, sharing your favorite moments, or simply geeking out with fellow anime enthusiasts, it's all about fun. So, let's begin the ride. Your vision is strange, almost like you're in a virtual world or some kind of robotic body. But that's not even the weirdest part. You soon realize you can't move at all. And then, out of nowhere, you hear a voice welcoming customers to use you. Use you? What does that even mean? As you try to make sense of the situation, you come to a shocking realization. You've been reincarnated as a vending machine. Yeah, you heard that right. How in the world did this happen? I don't know about you, but I'd be freaking out big time in that situation. Stuck, unable to move, and with no control whatsoever? It's a total nightmare. How would you feel? Assuming you'd be just as desperate as me, there wouldn't be much to do, right? I guess we'd have to wait, calm ourselves down and think things through. After a while, once we come to terms with the situation, you'd notice something strange. Believe it or not, you can actually talk. Well, not like humans, but in that classic vending machine way, you know? We'd be saying stuff like insert a coin and thanks for buying. It's bizarre, but hey, you spot something like a status window, and it dawns on you that it's the list of items you're selling. Right now, it's just mineral water and corn soup, not the most exciting choices. And then, out of the blue, a voice chimes in, revealing you can actually change the items you sell. How? By spending points. You've got a thousand points to play with. Sounds like a piece of cake? Well, hold on tight, because those points are going to become a major game changer. There's more to it than meets the eye. First off, your durability is like your lifeline, if it hits zero, you're toast. But guess what? There's magic in this world, and you can use points to repair your durability. You can also gain blessings from God. And these come with super cool abilities that'll cost you points. And here's the kicker, those points aren't just for repairing and blessing, they're also converted from money. So, the more points you have, the more you can do. Now, listen up, don't go spending any points just yet. Trust me, you'll want to hang on to them till you know why. Take some time to figure out this system, cause it's a game changer. As you explore your vending machine powers, you find out you can keep different items at different temperatures. You can even warm up frozen food. All right, now you've got a whooping range of 400 items to sell, and you can swap them out for just 10 points. But hold on tight, cause this vending machine life ain't all fun and games. You're using points for power, and you burn through one point per hour. That's 24 points a day, and with a thousand points, you got roughly one month to make this work. Don't waste them, or you're a goner. Now, picture this, you're in the middle of nowhere, no customers in sight. Panic mode on. But wait, just when all seems lost, a giant frog shows up. It approaches you, but it gets startled by your voice welcoming. And guess what? It's not here for a friendly chat. It's ready to attack. Because you studied all the skill of the blessing of God, you know that you can learn magic barrier. So it's a good time to spend some points to defend since you don't have moment s to attack. You activate a magic barrier to defend yourself. But more frogs join the party, and your points are dropping like crazy to maintain the barrier. It's a battle for survival. And here's the catch. You could end this with a risky move. The barrier can suffocate the frogs, but it'll cost you even more points. It is a risky move, so keep holding. The frogs eventually get bored and leave you alone, and you see you are down to 311 points. A few days later, you still have not been able to sell anything, and just when it feels like all hope is lost, a girl appears it seems luck is on your side. She's hungry, and you've got the goods, but she's clueless about vending machines. Good thing you know about the coin conversion function that you learned while studying the status window. She thinks it's expensive, but she decides to try it anyway because she is starving. She tastes the soup, and she finds it delicious, saying it's better than anything else that's around. She asks if you are able to talk, but you have only four lines. But as you answer, she notices you can understand her, and come up with a way to talk where you will say hello to answer yes and too bad to answer no. She introduces herself as llamas. So she decides to call you Boxo and the girl suddenly picks you up. She has a blessing called Might which increases her strength, but she can control his power and lose precision. After she takes a break, 
wanting to have some more corn soup. But now you use the power of capitalism to gain more coins. As this is a different world and there are hundreds of delicious things that a fantasy world never tried, you should pick something cheap that is delicious and can fill llamas, but not in the first product. So you find something else, change 8 the cost of 10 points, and llamas loves it, eating multiple cans, so you manage to recover back up to 320 points. You make it back to the village. Lamis explains what is you to the guards, which are surprised you can talk. The guards try buying some items, and they are instantly impressed, going on to try all of his items. Looks like you have more customers to sell, so you don't have to worry about dying. You get inside the village as Lama sets you up outside an inn, luck is on your side. Hulami, Lami's childhood friend, tells Lamas to make some money working at her inn and she hopes you will also help to attract customers with your products, it's a win-to-win -win situation. The people are soon attracted by how good his items are, and you are able to sell quite a lot. At night, Lamas takes you over to the guards at the gate, but they eventually get bored with his items, so you think it's time you add some new items. It seems he has been able to sell over 400 items, and he now has over 3000 points. It costs 3 silver coins, but the guard is excited to try something new. After a few days, word about your new item spreads around the village, and it seems to be a big hit. But during the day you make a plan to not sell high price, items to not compete with the inn's restaurant business, and you are making tons of points. The next day, you find yourself confronted by a bear, with a terrifying look at you. What you will do? What is going to happen to you? Find about the rest of journey as a rich vending machine in the next video. If you enjoyed this video and want more exciting journeys, remember to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment with your thoughts and ideas, and who knows, your suggestion might become the next thrilling story we explore. Talking about thrilling stories, I made two awesome one you can enjoy. See you there.